Greetings. I haven't uh, produced a Raspberry Pi video uh, recently and I've been working on a lot of different things, uh, improving some of my programs, but uh, I have a program that I wrote uh, back a ways. Um, I saw an article or about uh, a program that read uh, contours as you drove along the road and produced different sounds. And I thought, well, I wonder if I could take uh, motion tracking and uh, send it to uh, Sonic Pi and maybe get something. So um, I did. It actually didn't take very long, but the hardest part was getting a console session to talk to the X windows. And uh, so I did find a way. Unfortunately, it requires uh, Python OpenCV3, so you need to have Python 3 which is uh, default on the Raspberry Pi. But uh, anyway, I'd like to just give you a little demo. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of a work in progress and uh, it's just a demo, but it kind of gives you the idea of uh, what you can do and maybe somebody with a little bit more musical talent might, uh, might be able to uh, do a little bit more with it. I was thinking that uh, if you put it uh, in front of a fishbowl or some place where there was uh, some a lot of motion activity, then uh, you might get some interesting sounds. Um, I am going to look at um, being re recording the sounds or whatever. Uh, so anyway, this requires a, a Raspberry Pi with. Uh, OpenCV3 installed. I have a script that will kind of semi-automated uh, walk you through compiling uh, OpenCV3 and, uh, and it does a reasonable job. It's, it's um, a whiptail menu so um, it should be uh, fairly a lot easier than it normally would be. Let's put it that way. Uh, and uh, you need, um, I'm using a TV and I just set Sonic Pi to use the HDMI as a default. So it's sending the, the sounds through the uh, speaker on the TV. So I would say that's the best way of doing it. I also have a, a little uh, portable speaker right here that uh, is battery powered. I got it. They weren't very much. I think you can pick them up for a reasonable price. And uh, un unfortunately, you need the splitter cable, the media cable, and uh, an adapter to uh, connect it up to the. Well, that you can get. Uh, it's the Raspberry Pi media adapter. Um, and uh, one's for video, and the other one's for uh, the. RCA jacks are for sound. So then uh, I plug that in and uh, and it works fine. It's got a little uh, uh, lithium ion battery in it so it works pretty good. I've got a link on my GitHub uh, repo that shows the uh, uh, shows the um, hardware uh, that I've got. But anyway, TV works pretty well. Uh, I've got it on uh, OpenCV to uh, display the uh, a window, and it's uh, resized a little bit bigger than normal. Uh, so it'll be the performance here will be a little bit slower. We'll give you a demo. Um, the algorithm I got is uh, you can set it for uh, two notes or one note. Uh, right now I've got it set for two notes. Uh, one is based on the X. Uh, the X uh, coordinates and the other one set on the Y coordinate. So uh, uh, then I break up the screen into zones and as you move through the different zones then uh, it will produce a different sound. I've just got this one set to for single octave. You can set it up for multiple octaves but the more things you do sort of the less response of the motion tracking goes because it's got a it's got to track uh, your image and I've got a video on how that's done and uh, and uh, that's what my speed camera is based on and I use the code here so this will take 
a Raspberry Pi camera or it will take a USB a webcam and I tested it, works okay. So this is the latest version 6.1 and I'll probably be working uh, you know on uh, bug fixing and a few little uh, fix-ups and stuff like that but uh, other than that it seems to it's kind of a, just a fun little thing uh, for a demonstration of what you can do and maybe somebody can do a little bit more with it. But uh, okay, so here, uh, uh, let's take the off. So whenever it sees motion, Now you can set this on uh, arranging notes by, um, by the area of the contour. And I'll, I'll set the area of the contour here. Uh, just give me a sec and I'll, uh, I'll We'll set the rectangle at the bottom here. Okay, circle is true, so we'll set it circle is false. Uh, and we'll two should be fine. Okay, this starts up from a shell script because it's got to talk to uh, through the X window uh, uh, term, uh, terminal. That's the contours that it's seeing, it's reading. Now I don't have the contours. Uh, Sizes, but you can use the contour sizes to, uh, and you can change the. Uh, I've got this set for um, set the profit or whatever. I'm not really knowledgeable on, on Sonic Pi, so it's it's. And you can set the the octave lower. Let's set that. So here I got the uh, the octaves uh, from uh, zero to ten, and uh, and then you could set. Uh, so this is set on six, so we'll go to five. So just something to play around with. You can see the notes lower. So, so if you set the console off, then uh, Uh, that means OpenCV has got to spend a bit more work, a little bit harder to. So this will work from uh, an SSH session. Doesn't have to be on the Raspberry Pi. It can be uh, a network uh, computer. So it'll run totally from a from a, an SSH session. Uh, it just has it talks to the X session. With it.
It's a little bit more responsive. So um, that's about it. I'll uh, let you go. Um, it's just a fun little thing. Might uh, be a little uh, something that uh, if a student wants to work on or uh, uh, is interested in generating music from motion, uh, you're welcome to uh, do uh, whatever you want with it. It's up on GitHub and uh, open source and written in Python. And uh, have a good day. I would just uh, want to thank everybody for uh, watching my YouTube channel. Um, I actually just uh, recently went over half a million for a little uh, person, you know, like I'm not a big YouTube uh, um, hit, you know, superstar or anything, but uh, I do have a, a 430 something odd uh, videos in one channel and uh, maybe 30 in the other. So, uh, I have fun. I'm retired, so that's that's just what I do. Anyway, bye-bye. Thanks for watching.